think music is the great connector. It uh, brings people together in ways that they wouldn't otherwise. Well, I feel like culturally, uh, music in a small city enhances one's life. A lot of artists like a small environment like this because it's more of a listening room. They don't have to compete with bottles clanking or people yelling over each other. The people who are here are interested in music, period. There is more community, I think, in, in the independent music around here. There's not as much competition. Being that everybody kind of knows each other and they're friends, they genuinely want each other to do well. So they encourage each other and inspire each other. What the Music Lab is doing is sort of pulling out these uh, young, young, talented um, musicians and, and highlighting them in a way that maybe in other other cities, small or larger, they get sort of lost. So getting them right into the uh, thick of performance opportunities with these national and international artists, I think is a really golden opportunity for the, for the young musicians in this community. I think for the artist, it's an opportunity to have an impact we see artists, musicians moving to New York or LA to pursue their dreams and they're lost in this big shuffle. Uh, in a small city, they can have an impact, they can build a fan base. And it used to matter where musicians were. It used to matter because you wanted a record deal, because you wanted to get on the radio. Now it's about building a fan base via social media, building a live touring base, and that you can do from anywhere. <laughs> Lee West kind of calls them guerrilla venues. Um, you know, we have an opportunity to bring for a band to stop by or bring a musician in, and we often use a community space and put out the word on, you know, social network, and it just springs up and happens, and then the next day it's gone. It's a lot more work to set up a venue like that, but it allows you to work in spaces that are different and unique. As a guerrilla venue, you don't have to do it on a regular basis. It's a cool thing, a great gathering, and then it's over, it disappears. The next day people walk by and never know there was a big <laughs> event. There. Yeah, we operate a little under the radar. Well, for me, moving to a small city, I came from Washington, D.C., which is obviously quite a big area. I moved to Roanoke, a small city. I didn't know a soul. Through putting on live music, I've developed wonderful friendships. We get together outside of music. We get together around the music. Uh, it just, the quality of life is just so much better with live music. Thank you.